Hello, hello guys. I am Zachariah, the ghostwriter. Guys, I am shocked. You know, Tembisa as big as it is, you know, they finally have, you know, our DLTC. I'm looking at my phone because I'm shocked by the amount of money they spend to build it. And there is no media which is, you know, reporting about this online. I just saw now the article from Captain Express and they wrote that they spent 60 million to build a Tembisa licensing hub, as they say. Like even on the social media, I don't even see people from Tembisa being proud. I don't even see SABC reporting about this. I made a video, I think it's maybe two weeks ago when I was like talking about it. And I was just a bit shocked to see it because I was there to visit my younger sister. And I don't, I don't know, I don't know why media is not publishing that story. I mean, our traditional, you know, media, big media, news outlets, simply because of, if I may read here, they're saying, new Tembisa licensing hub will bring much relief for Captain Park. Remember, people from Tembisa who used to go to Captain Park, and the queue was crazy. And they continue by saying, the Tembisa licensing hub is the first licensing hub to be built in a previously disadvantaged area in Ekuru Lane. It's the first. Minister of Transport Fiki Lembalula will today, it was on Monday, open the new 60 million rand Tembisa licensing hub. The new center will bring much relief to community of Tembisa and surrounding areas. The minister will be Joined by Ekuruleni Executive Mayor CLR Mzwandile Masina. The Tembisa licensing hub is the first licensing hub to be built in a previously disadvantaged area in Ekuruleni and will be followed by building of license, licensing hubs in Katlehong and Zagani. Or oh, after this, they're going to Katlehong and Zagani. Wow. The Tembisa licensing hub situated on Link Road in Esalen Park will relieve the Captain Park and other licensing centers in the vicinity of long queues. Okay, here they're writing the location. Let me just read for some of you guys who are wondering where it is situated. It is strategically located to also serve the northern suburb suburbs of captain park area that falls within neighborhoods neighboring cities linked by the r21 and olifants fontaine road like when you're using the r21 some of you guys you know r21 goes all the way from jobek it will take you to pretoria and also r562 like now, people who are staying in places like Beishli, Van Riebeck, they can still go to that licensing department. Yeah, and look at how big Tembisa is. This is the first. And I'm like, they are waiting for something bad to happen so that you will see our media like SABC and others, you know, reporting about it. Because I remember when I made the first video, I went online and I checked, and there was no one saying anything about it. But now, luckily, I see this article. I have to screenshot this article so that I can put it there. I'm the type of a person who want to... who want to speak about something which is there. I just took the screenshot. I want to always have proof when I speak about certain things. You can also see the queue there. Yes. 
And, and, and I'm just surprised by, you know, people in Tembisa for not celebrating this because this is big. And the testing ground, guys, is just amazing. I wanted to take pictures there, but I couldn't because the, the security told me I shouldn't. But it was just a great, great, you know, testing ground. I will try by all means to go there and get pictures. Even if I won't get a video, but I want to get pictures so I can show you how great it is. You know, and I appreciate you guys showing me love and support. Thank you.